What is up? My name is Spencer Cantor, and today I'm reviewing Rambo Last Blood. Rambo Last Blood stars Sylvester Stallone, and this is the fifth and final movie in the franchise. This is a simple revenge story in which Mexican drug and sex traffickers capture his niece, and as you can expect, a lot of people die in brutal ways. I enjoyed this movie for what it is, and that's a revenge action movie. It's not as good as Taken or John Wick, but it's decent. A movie like this doesn't need to have a complicated plot or have the best acting in order to be good. And let's face it, Stallone is not known for his superb acting, but he's good enough in this movie to make me care about the fatherly relationship that he has with his niece. In Rambo 4, he doesn't give a shit about anyone else or their problems, but in this one he finally has someone that he loves and cares about. It makes him vulnerable and adds a new dimension to the character. That's nice and all, but that's not the reason why you watch a Rambo movie. You really just want to see Rambo kill a bunch of bad guys in gruesome style. The last 20 minutes delivers on that promise. He lures the bad guys back to his farm where he set up death traps and explosives Home Alone style. Let the bloodbath begin. There is something incredibly satisfying about watching bad things happen to bad people. The deaths in this movie are cool, but it's not as satisfying as the 50 cal scene at the end of Rambo 4. If you want to see heads explode and bodies dismembered, watch that movie. That is my favorite Rambo movie because of the ultra violence and I think it's a better send off for the character. If you can, watch this movie in 4K because it looks really good and that's because it was shot on the new Red Gemini 5K camera. This movie is basically taken in a more bloody version of Home Alone, and there's one particular death that's right from Indiana Jones. You know what I'm talking about. The pacing of this movie is a little bit slow in the beginning, but overall, I liked it. I know this was a short review, but this is a 90 minute movie with a very simple plot. I grazed over some details to avoid spoilers, but there wasn't too much more to talk about, honestly. If you want a simple action movie with a hyper-violent third act, this movie is for you. What is your favorite Rambo movie? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, hit that like and subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you always stay up to date whenever I post a new video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.